What's up guys? Welcome back to the Freedom Road. I know it's been a long time. I know you missed me. I missed you too. Um, but I did get a new job. I'm in a new city, so you have to excuse me for that. I am moving up in the world. Um, moving west, technically, but I do make more money, so um, that's cool. But uh, anyways, we got the store back up and running. Uh, we got 250 items listed, thanks to my wife, mostly. I do some work. I take pictures and stuff. Um, but I figure it's about time to get back on here, and I, I did actually have one huge revelation, which is kind of a duh moment, but I figure I'm probably not the only idiot in the world, and some other idiots might need some advice, so, uh, this is for all you idiots out there who are making mistakes, and I'm here to help. Um, just real quick, uh, I do have a lot, I mean, there's craziness going on, I could do a super long video, but... Uh, if your attention span is like mine, and if uh, I'm as interesting as I think I am, you're probably not going to be able to stay watching this very long. So, uh, real quick, the big thing that I learned uh, moving from one city to the next is how crazy different it is um, when you're trying to buy stuff. So, here's specifically what I'm talking about. Where I used to live, my money maker, estate sales. Craigslist was a nightmare. Thrift stores, blech auctions terrible um, estate sales are where it's at I move out here a city twice the size of where I came from and zero estate sales I'm freaking out right what am I gonna do so we're listing we're listing we're listing it's one of the perks of moving is that you realize how much you hate your stuff when you have to pack it all in boxes and lift it into a truck hate it very much so a lot of it's getting sold mostly just out of spite um, but anyways, so uh, finally we're kind of running low on stuff. We got to make a move. We got to do something. All right, I'm gonna jump on Craigslist. Right? I know it's terrible. Whatever. So I just type in board games real quick, just to give you an example. First thing I did: board games. I love selling board games. I don't know why nobody ever talks about board games. I think they're quick flip, easy money. You can turn two dollars into ten dollars really easy. Not huge money, but just simple money. I don't get it. Anyways. So I'm on Craigslist, I check it out, and right away somebody's selling a huge pile of board games for about a buck or two a piece. So I'm thinking, that's a pretty good deal, are there any good ones? So I look at the picture and right away what sticks out is two Pokemon games. It's Pokemon Go crazy season right now. So I'm instantly excited, I look up a few other games, 20, 30 bucks here or there, and he has itemized which ones are missing which pieces. So this is huge. I'm thinking, well, it's going to be gone, right? Somebody snagged this up. I just got lucky. I ended up getting the board games, checking the board games. Um, got them for about a buck a piece. When I bought it all, I made an offer, maybe buck fifty, whatever. And they're probably running about twenty dollars sale price right now. Uh, the hardest part is going to be getting my family to stop playing them. Um, and by the way, if you have not played the Monopoly game with the credit cards got to check it out it's crazy it's, you don't have any money you just put it in the little card reader and it's like pff, pay up little kid it's awesome but um and I did win I beat my daughter and my wife and I was not ashamed of that um anyways Craigslist has been crazy that was not a fluke we went and picked up a dollhouse after that got it for 20 bucks sells for 80 all day sitting right over there I'd show you but this place is so trashed it would be an embarrassment um, picked up these uh, metal igloo coolers. They sell for 40, 50 bucks. Uh, I got nine of them for 50. So you can figure out the math there. That's a little ridiculous. Anyways, bottom line, Craigslist is huge here. I mean, I am basically out of money. My wife is ready to punch me in the face. She wants to go on a vacation, and I am putting us our vacation in jeopardy because I cannot stop spending money. But um. It, Again, the point, I'm not going to say the bottom line, I already said that once. Um, point is, you got to be trying everything. Just because, you know, Joe Guru on YouTube channel, whatever, says, if you're not doing this and this, you're missing a big opportunity. Yeah, maybe in your town, dude. But uh, not everybody is the same, not every city is the same. I, don't, I still can't figure it out. A city this size, with twice the amount of people that I had before and where I used to live, you would think with such huge gaps in what they're selling it for and what I could buy it for, beer sign sitting right over there. 
tons of them. I live in Wisconsin, beer signs all over the place. It's one of the light up neon ones. Used to see them all the time, 150 bucks, whatever. He wanted 40 bucks. At this point, I'm just being stupid. I mean, $40 is a great deal. The thing sells for $100 all day. I was just like, hey man, would you take 30? I don't know about 40. He's like, yeah, yeah, whatever, I'll take 30. I was like, this play, I mean, I feel like I'm robbing these people. It's not even fair. <sighs> it's awesome though. But anyways, that's what I wanted to leave you with is uh, make sure you're trying everything. Uh, try Craigslist if it doesn't work. Maybe Craigslist isn't your thing. Check estate sales if you don't have them. Hit up the garage sales, the yard sales. There's a ton of those too. I just don't have time or money to go to them. They got the multifamily garage sales all over the place. Um, you got Facebook groups. My wife makes a ton of money on those. Actually, we just bought for that exact purpose and she's selling at some other stuff. This little thing here, by the way, I did not realize this. These things, they'll send them to you for free because they obviously make their money 2.75%. Um, but it's a credit card reader for your cell phone. Uh, you just put in your information. You put in your bank account information. I'm not making money off this. This is just just thought you'd like to know. It's a decent deal. Sorry, I keep looking. To, I'm down here. I'm looking at myself. You're up there. Hi. Um, or you can go buy it in a store. 10 bucks. I just got it at Walgreens, and they'll reimburse you the 10 bucks, which is sweet. But, I mean, if you try selling offline, like that big beer sign, the Igloo Cooler is kind of tough to ship, whatever, throw it on a Facebook group. Throw it back on Craigslist and uh, put in the ad. I can't say if this works or is better or whatever, but I'm assuming it is cash or credit card. I would like that if I saw that because I don't want to have to go to the ATM every time. If I can just swipe my card, that's sweet. So, uh, and yeah, my wife this Saturday is going to a big sale. So we got all these clothes together. She's putting these little things with the little pricing dollar 75 for that apparently which is pretty good um so yeah she'll be able to take credit cards which is awesome so that's another thing i'll let you know how that goes but uh again try everything find out what works and when it happens you're not gonna be scratching your head trying to figure it out right you you try it you're making no money um the one thing real quick because i've done estate sales and i've done a lot of them if you have a bunch of estate sales and you try an estate sale and all the prices are horrible, don't use that company anymore, but don't give up on estate sales. There was one that was an awesome company and they, they would have such low prices already and you would ask for money off and they'd be like, oh sure, whatever. I mean, you get $20, $30 worth of stuff. Like one thing is like 30 bucks. It's listed a dollar and you're like, could I get it for 50 cents? Yeah, whatever. Okay. So if you have them, don't give up on them. Keep trying them. But if you, especially if you go to a place where they got like the company t-shirts and they're real professional and all that, and they, you know, you go to somebody's house and they're obviously a multimillionaire, you want to go to the places where these, it's a crummy house, it's a hoarder house, and they got stuff with dust this thick on it. That's the money house. But anyways, I got to get out of here. I got stuff to do. We got a list. Uh, I got to try to help uh, my wife with this whole vacation thing. Um, to appease her and show her, no, we can still go on a vacation. I promise I didn't spend all that money yet. So uh, have a good day. I will see you soon. we got a lot to talk about. And uh, I think that's it. Talk to you later.